David Pogue this morning spotlights an unusual collection we think you'll find enlightening. In an unassuming strip mall in Owings Mills, Maryland, sits one of the greatest collections of its kind in the world. Well, let's look at the vestibule. Chad Shapiro's day job is running a home automation business, but his obsession is nurturing his collection. Does everybody immediately appreciate the seriousness and the scholarship and the history of it? No. <laughs> Most people who aren't collectors think it's a little silly. And what he collects is old light bulbs. This represents Edison's first, what they call commercial light bulb. Hmm. Okay, antique light bulbs and associated equipment. You needed a switch to turn them on. You needed a socket to plug your light bulb into. I don't mean to disrespect the pursuit, but light bulbs? It seems like a utilitarian thing. Well, yes, but if you think about it, the, the concept of artificial light opened up so many possibilities. It allowed lifestyles at home to change at night. Electric lighting allowed businesses to run well into the evening and increase production. Is there anything aesthetic or beautiful about light bulbs? If you look at the different shapes, the forms, colors of glass on internal components, I think they're quite beautiful. And that kind of beauty can drive a man to extremes. If it's a really important piece, you travel to get it. And I've traveled as far as Austria. What? You went to Austria to pick up a bulb? Correct. So there's no place I won't go. And there's no price you won't pay either. In this business, the Holy Grails are bulbs designed by Thomas Edison. Shapiro owns many Edison bulbs and has paid as much as five figures a piece. This was a prototype. This was never produced for sale. And that makes it more valuable. Absolutely. Okay. And this is a bulb, at the time they called them lamps, electric lamps, that was designed to be used in a mine. It was displayed by Edison at the Crystal Palace Electrical Expo in 1882, and it's the only one in the world. Wow. So he is credited with inventing the light bulb. It's not true. Not true? I cannot tell you who invented the light bulb, and nobody can. There are experiments all throughout the 1800s, and we don't know who actually invented the light bulb. Wow. Edison took the concept of an incandescent light bulb and he perfected it. All right, everyone, I want to thank you all for coming. As you can probably tell, this has been a passion of mine for most of my life. Believe it or not, Looking Chad back, Shapiro is not the only person obsessed with old bulbs. It is a disease and I do have it and I've been doing it for 55 years. His annual conference attracts 30 fellow aficionados from all over the world. When you come here, mm -hmm. what do you do? primarily to marvel at the new acquisitions of Chad. These pieces of you see are incredible. On our first date, you know, he spoke about light bulbs for 90 minutes straight. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there nodding my head. But for Dennis Rothhaus, Shapiro's Park. partner of three years, the relationship has been an illuminating experience. He can look at any light bulb, any piece, and really know the history of it and how it works. And I think that's amazing. I gave that theory a try. So if I were to pluck a bulb at random, would you be able to tell me about it? Absolutely. Right. Try me. Tell me about this bulb. This is a light bulb made under the name of the New Type Edison, but this was actually a General Electric product. So a bulb like this would have been made about 1895. Now, at this point, you may be wondering, how many light bulb collectors does it take to screw in a light bulb? You might be surprised to learn that it's none. No one wants to risk blowing out a century-old bulb. <laughs> this is an Edison light bulb made about 1883 to 1885. But Chad wow, Shapiro still wanted to show us that he can light up a room. We're going to give it a go. Oh, man. Far out. Wow. Now, is that full brightness? No, we're not going to go full brightness. It's just too risky. Someday, Chad Shapiro would love to see his collection featured in a museum. But for now, he's happy to light the way for the rest of us. Yeah, it, it's, you collect what? Like, there's like standards of collecting baseball cards, coins, stamps. Like, where'd you get light bulbs? Why, why would you collect light bulbs? But once you explain the importance of them, people, the light bulb goes off, right? <laughs>